In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the diesel pump timing and how to adjust the diesel pump timing on the Volkswagen 2.5 TDI. So it's also the ACV engine and the AJT engine this will work on, both exactly the same. So what we're going to do is, mine is slightly retarded, um, and if the battery is a little bit flat, if I've left it for too long, it sometimes struggles to start and doesn't like starting straight away. But I have taken the battery off, I have fully charged the battery, and the van has been sat around for about three weeks. So this is going to be the first start in three weeks. I think I may need injectors, but you know maybe um, if Ron Rake sees this, give us, a, give us a shout and we'll try and come up with some sort of deal. But right, let's have a look, cold start. So there was a little puff of white smoke, a little cloud of white smoke on startup. Yeah, um, I think I might need to change some injectors, so I have to speak to Ron Rake. But what we do is we get it on the drive and we'll have a look at fiddling around with the fuel pump timing. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to set TDC. Now the TDC, there's a little inspection hole um, at the top of your gearbox and there's usually a grommet in there. And you can see down there on the flywheel, right next to that Tipex kind of uh, cog on the flywheel there, um, you can see the groove, the indentation. So you just want to line them two up and because this isn't perfect I'm going to get in here with the screwdriver and make some adjustments. It's okay this whole video isn't voiceover I just done this right at the beginning because it's easier the camera was so far away from me and shoving it down there I didn't want to be shouting so that half the street could hear what I was saying. So yeah I've got it TDC but also how I know I'm roughly by TDC is that I use the little notch on the diesel pump on that on that pump there on the pulley at the bottom there is a little notch and I'm just going to show you here where that notch is and that notch lines up with like a little mark on the pump as well so I'm going to put it, get it into the center of the camera and you can see right in the center there's like a, a square notch right in the center of the screen there and that notch needs to line up roughly with this notch on the alley on the bracket. So if they're roughly lined up, you know you're going to be roughly TDC. And now the next thing is to get a DTI gauge into the back of the fuel pump there. So in the middle is a 12mm bolt. We need to take that 12mm bolt out and then insert a DTI gauge. Right, so what I've done here, and what you're looking at, you're looking at the DTI gauge, and that's in the fuel pump. We are TDC, and I've set it to just the clock, rather than zero in it, I've set it onto 55. So I'm gonna rotate the engine backwards, and in theory, that should now then move around to the zero position, which you can see around there, and then if it does, then we know the timing's good. But I've got to turn the engine back anyway. Usually you turn it back until that needle doesn't move anymore. And then at that point, that's when you zero this, and then you move the engine forwards to TDC, and then you see what the timing is. But this way, I'm just set TDC up, because you've got to find TDC before you do this anyway. So I thought, well, while we've got TDC, I'll put it on 55, and then we've got to turn it back anyway. So we'll see how advanced or retarded my timing is. So the clock stopped on 18. I rotated the engine anti-clockwise until the needle didn't move anymore. And then that's the lowest point. And that's on 18. So it went 18, 28, 38, 48. Um, so it was 35, was that 38 degrees it was so it was about 12 degrees out well 18 degrees out 18 degrees out there you go 
so that was retarded by 18 degrees. Uh, I had a retarded van. Right, so now I'm going to do is, is I'm going to zero this clock and then rotate the engine to TDC and then we're going to adjust the pump. Right, so what I need to do now is we need to remove this, this little locking tool. So, it was that bit there that you just heard fall to the floor, this thing. And that's come out from there. So I just need to tighten that up. Just need to tighten that up and that will lock the diesel pump in place. And then up to the top, because we now need to remove, well, just loosen this bolt here for the cam pulley, for the diesel pump. So once we've loosened that off, we can then make the adjustments on the pump down the bottom. But you can actually make fine adjustments with the pulley and tensioners here. Um, if, it's, if your pump timing's only slightly out, you can advance or retard it a few degrees with that. All right. Right, so I've slackened that bolt now, it's nice and loose. So that pulley will be able to turn now when I rotate the pump. So I'm gonna have to do this from underneath and to film it, I'd need three hands. Well, technically, I need more because I got under here, I'll show you what I gotta do. So the next thing, the dial gauge up there, I've gotta keep an eye on that because I need it to get up to 55 degrees, which is just up there. I know you can't see the writing, it's all a bit blurred. But to do that, what I'm gonna to have to do is, there's a nut just here on the end of this diesel pump on this pulley. So I'm gonna put a spanner on there, I think it's a 21, and then hold the pressure of that with one arm. With another hand, I'm gonna loosen this, then as soon as I loosen this, the spring will come into effect on the pump and it's gonna to wanna to retard all the way back to zero and then while I'm rotating and adjusting this I've got to keep my eye over here to do that so there's a few things going on here all at once and I can't really film it so I'm just going to crack on with it and I'll update you in a mo. So there it is, literally a few seconds. Oh, um, and it's all done. We move across. Yeah, it's not gonna focus, but that's right in the middle, 55. Excellent, so that is how you time up your pump. But, so, I loosened, the, I loosened this rotated this until the clock DTI said it was a 55 and then I tightened that again and now what I've got to do is, is go up to the top of the engine and re-torque up the bolt on the cam pulley and then once that's torqued up we come back down here and I'll put that little space saver in um, and then we'll fire it up and see if it fires up first time with no smoke Well, what we're going to do now, I'm going to set up TDC again, put the DTI gauge in, 
and we'll just double check that we are on 57 or 55. So we are bang on 55. That's excellent. I haven't had to make any adjustments. Um, just to take into consideration when you do restart the van, um, it does let in a little bit of air through here. So it may take a little bit longer restarting when you start your vehicle, but that is bang on 55. And if it's just a little bit out, um, you've got about, uh, I could adjust that to 0.4 or all, all the way up to 0.7. So there is a little bit of play with this tensioner. And it's this one down here, let me show you. This one here, so you put Allen key in there, hold it in position and then loosen that off. If you've got someone else looking at the DTI gauge, you can slightly adjust this and rotate it. And then that will adjust the pump, advance or retard it, but only a little bit. That's, yeah, that's like fine adjustment. But mine's right in the middle and we're on 55. So that is bang on. Happy days. So that's how you fine tune and adjust your pump timing. Excellent. Well, hopefully this helps. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll see you soon when we do more cam belts. Happy days.